How to Study Mathematics Effectively, by Leonelin Ta Yone. Mathematics is a subject that you cannot avoid. It is probably one of the most complained about subjects, pretty much all over the world. Students who don't like mathematics often face high levels of stress when it comes to exams and even homework, finding assignments difficult or boring, and saying they're simply no good. They condemn this subject which often causes that red mark on the report card. But math really isn't impossible if you're willing to put in the work. Students often find the subject to be very difficult because they haven't taken the time to understand the formulas and principles, mastered the basics, or practiced enough. Being good at math is a skill, which means that it can be developed. The good thing about it is you can deal with numbers in a variety of situations, as long as you know what you're doing and where you're going. There are a number of people who started out hating math, but through their determination to try to accept the fact that it is everywhere in whatever course they take, they learn to deal with it. Here are 10 tips to study math effectively so you can ace that requirement and get through class without stressing too much about it and I hope these steps will help you appreciate mathematics despite it being difficult, as everybody sees it. 1. Familiarize, do not memorize. If you memorized something, it doesn't follow that you have fully grasped the concept. Mere memorization is different from truly understanding it. 2. Relate the problem to the real world. Think of any activity in which you could apply the problem. It could be age problem like I am 8 and my brother is half my age. When I will be 80, of course my brother will be 76. Age gap is always constant. 3. Discuss the problem. Talk to a classmate or to your friends, or share it to our FB group and ask for their opinion on what you've got so far. This will also develop a healthy and productive conversation in which all of you can benefit. One good thing about math problem solving is that there's a lot of ways to express your opinion on the subject matter. You can choose a variety of ways to set out possible solutions. 4. Review what you have. Analyze whether or not you have a logical solution to the problem. Ask yourself, did this answer the question I was given? If your answer is, yes, then you have solved the problem. Otherwise, go back and try again. Don't forget to check obvious resources, such as your textbook including my YouTube channel which often has examples of problems similar to the one you're trying to solve. 5. Don't give up. If you failed at solving a question, don't stop there. Quitting is never an option. 6. Ask for help. Never be afraid to ask for help. You might be shy or find it difficult to speak up, but that shouldn't stop you from getting help when you need it. You can also get help from your peers, seek tutoring if you're really struggling, or join a study group where you can discuss problems together. Sometimes you just need something explained to you in a different way to truly understand it. Getting some support and help could be just what you need to master mathematics. 7. Practice, practice and more practice. It is impossible to study math properly by just reading and listening. To study math you have to roll up your sleeves and actually solve some problems. The more you practice answering math problems, the better. Each problem has its own characteristics and it's important to have solved it in numerous ways before tackling the exam. There is no escaping this reality, to do well in a math exam you need to have solved a lot of mathematical problems beforehand. 8. Review errors. When you're practicing with these problems, it's important to work through the process for each solution. If you have made any mistakes, you should review them and understand where your problem-solving skills let you down. Understanding how you approached the problem and where you went wrong is a great way of becoming stronger and avoiding the same mistakes in the future. 9. Create a mathematical dictionary. Mathematics has specific terminology with a lot of vocabulary. I suggest you create notes with all the concepts, terminology and definitions you need to know. You should include their meanings, some key points and even some sample answers so you can consult them at any time and review. 10. Believe in yourself. This might not be a study skill per se, but the right attitude is very important to being a good math student. When we tell ourselves from a young age that we're not good at math, we set ourselves up to fail. 
by reinforcing this belief that you're not good at math, or that it's too boring, you're more likely to face math anxiety, stress and low confidence, which lead to miserable feelings in class, as well as a low retention rate, and an unwillingness to ask for help to improve your skills. So tell yourself from the first day of class that this is something you can do, believe in yourself, adopt a positive attitude, and you may find that you're not as bad at math as you first thought. You can do it. If you are new to my channel, subscribe and let's solve math the easiest way.